If you've been an X fan for at least a couple of months now, you've probably stumbled up to this song. Either on YouTube can recommend it or just anyway that you've stumbled to the song. If you haven't, this song is called Sounds from Melting Pot. Now you may ask me, what makes this song so perfect or how is it perfect, like you say in the title? Well, there's many reasons why the song is perfect, or at least really good. If you know it by X, you know that he tries to put a story or a feeling that you're supposed to feel while listening to your song. So today, I'm gonna be breaking down Sons of Melting Pot on how it's the perfect X song. So before I talk about why this song is good and how it's a perfect song according to my words, I think first I gotta talk about information behind it. This song released in June 8, 2014 and was part of the project at the time that X was making, Isotel EP. Now Isotel EP, the purpose of it was to be literally Ice Hotel. So basically a cold hearted EP with no regrets on it. In a way, the EP really refers to himself as the coldest side of X in a way where he talks about murder and stuff like that, which he does not give a fuck about, basically. So in other words, it's kind of like the mind of a serial killer. You can, it's comparing it to that at least. So this is why, honestly, considering the fact that this track talks a lot about murder, it fits really well with how the EP was supposed to be planned out and themed. Now that I got that out the way, I can talk about how this song is perfect, at least in my opinion. So sit back and relax because now I want to be talking about the introduction of the song. The song starts off with a Toad sample from Mario Kart 64. And I mean, this sample came with a beat, but what mostly hits the most about the song is the sample in the background of the beat. So I'm talking about the piano. Now you may be asking where's the sample from? And it's honestly so ironic that the sample literally fits perfect with the theme of the song. The sample from the instrumental comes from a popular anime from back in the day called Higurashi. So if you don't know this anime, the anime is basically about the same theme of the song. It's a murder. It's kind of a murder mystery, to be honest. And the anime is really good, by the way. I really recommend you should check it out. But the thing about this anime is that the music honestly helps really, really good to fit the murder mystery in. Like, it gives you the feeling of the chills. But we're not here to talk about the anime, of course. But we are here about to talk about the feeling. And as you know, this song is all about feeling it. Like, feeling the way X is trying to make you feel. So, the fact that such a simple piano song could fit so good with a murder song, it's honestly so perfect, the fact that X picked this beat. Of course, the beat, uh, if you didn't know, it comes from a producer named Hydra. This, <laughs> the song name is literally Hentai. I don't know why. It's called Hydro Hentai. So, that's, that's about it. Apart from the sample from the instrumental, we also have a little skit which comes from the movie American History X. Now, the thing about this movie is that, again, the same feeling of something that's gonna happen or something that happens. This, if you never watch this movie, which I really recommend you do, like, really recommend you do, it's a good movie, really. Um, this movie mostly treats stuff about how life really is and how life can really be dark. Like how dark life can actually be when it gets serious and shit. So it honestly fits so perfect for this song. And honestly, X just did a masterpiece when it comes to picking the instrumental. Now, you probably heard it as well, but this roaring sound effect in the background, yeah, that's not a demon or anything like that. A lot of people tend to think that it's a demon or something like that. It's actually just a lion. It's literally the recording of a lion. That's it. Just, it's an old recording from like 2013 of a lion roaring back and over and over again. And it's honestly quite interesting because the distortion honestly makes it sound like it was something more than 
Like more than just a lion, you know? It literally feels like it was a fucking demon or something. Which is, I actually find that quite interesting. Because X kind of gives a hint that it's a lion. By him saying, need a lioness. And literally, most of this song is him referring to himself as some kind of animal. In the way of being aggressive like them. Which we'll get into right now in the drop. Now that it's time to talk about the drop, I first need to talk about the sample it uses. So, apart from already using the instrumental, of course, it has a little sample at the start of the drop and like every like 10 to 15 seconds. Two samples, actually. The first sample being this type of exorcism scream, which... I actually uploaded it back then when I used to upload a lot of X videos. I, used to, I actually uploaded this sample myself. I forgot how I even got it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Basically, this honestly, this sample adds so much to the beat and it honestly makes you feel scared, you know? Like, it's crazy. Cause, like, the, apart from the fact that this nigga is literally talking about killing someone as a fucking animal. He just adds that shit and it makes it like fucking 10 times creepier, bro. But it honestly fits the vibe so good. And honestly, it's honestly prop sex on finding that sample and just using it. Honestly, he like, Loki, that's Loki a real good job. Now to start off with the chorus, as you can see, he's basically talking about what I was talking about earlier, about how Ice Hotel has to do with a cold heart and he's basically talking about murdering someone in an aggressive way, kind of like a line like I was describing earlier, which also explains and hence is the sample that he was using at the start of the song. And most of this just comes down to on the way he uses the lyrics to express himself and the fact that he uses it in a way where he's also describing how the song is supposed to be felt and how the album is supposed to be listened as. Basically, just being cold hearted and not caring at all. Basically, like he said, having pride to it. Although he does feel regret, like he says, that he needs to basically choke himself into death, basically, like suicide. So in a way he regrets it, but he doesn't want to admit it in some type of way. So when it comes to this verse, it's really deep, like what he's talking about. So basically, he's basically talking about some how he doesn't care about killing people literally at all. But the thing is, like he says it in a way where no one says it before. Like he's just basically kind of admitting it. Like if he has done it before, like if he's a killer, basically. Which is the right vibe that this song is trying to give. And he honestly did a good job. Like a great job, bro. Great job interpreting this feeling. And if you were to listen to this like with headphones in like late at night, you honestly feel like what he's thinking of. Like you feel like how angry he feels in reality. It's like he feels angry, but in reality he's just feeling like like he wants to do it. Or like he's being forced to do it. In reality, like this song is just honestly such a complete masterpiece with the fact that X made it with like such passion to the point where you could feel everything he is trying to say. In a way, it's like if you're literally in a way, it's like you're in a VR, like virtual reality type thing. And it's like 
it just feels so intense because like it's going all up on you like literally the way he describes the stuff he describes like for example when he talks about for example eyeing your chain and shit like bro nobody has ever done that shit my nigga like real shit that shit made you fucking shiver bro and it's the feeling that you get when you're listening to it with no context it's really the feeling when you really sit down listen to the lyrics not knowing what you're getting into and that's something that x actually knows how to do a lot and he does how to do that really well as he has done with many songs and it's honestly so surprising how you, he could get that message across in just a couple of lines because this song is short this song is only two minutes short and it's a two minute masterpiece and honestly most of the song is storytelling based kind of like news slash flock he's telling the story of the mind of someone who has killed people and that has no remorse to it and that's why the song is just so perfect not only could you like vibe to the song you could low-key get lit to the song too like it's just there's so much opportunities that were used in like literally two minutes and at the end it just it, it ends up being so good it ends up being a complete masterpiece I Need a line nest, nose covered in coke. Pride to it, need a chain hanging out choke. Pride to it, need a bass banging out joke. Ay, cloth piercing her throat. Need a line nest, nose covered in coke. Pride to it, need a chain hanging out choke. Pride to it, need a bass banging out joke. At the end of the song, the hook just repeats and it ends off in a slow fade with actually a little effect that makes it seem like he is being just buried and taken apart from the song, which is a really ni nice detail, it's really neat. But the thing that honestly, the reason why this song turned out so good is mostly because of the delivery. The delivery he gives on the song is actually so good. And considering not only just the way he says the words, but also the ad-libs he puts in the background. If you heard closely, he literally growls in the fucking background while he was while he was saying the verse. He was fucking growling, bro. Like, he was putting a lot of delivery into it. And that's honestly one of the things that makes this song really good. And honestly, that's something X can do in a lot of songs. And he has done it in a lot of songs, actually. Which is why X knows how to deliver correctly. And that just, they finish it off. Like, he finishes it off in such a good way with the little rain and everything. And that's why the song is literally a perfect masterpiece. There's nothing else to be said about this. It's perfect. <laughs>